What's up everyone? This is Jens. Let's unwind with Biomutant. So, welcome to what will pretty certainly be the last episode of Let's Play Biomutant. We are about to take on our longtime foe, Lupa Lupin. Uh, not yet sure where we... Okay. Uh, let's see how we get there. And after that, the idea is to take out the fourth and last world eater. And hopefully be able to do so in a fairly quick manner. Um, let's see. Uh, we still have one more level up to spend, so that could come in handy. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, one of the definitely rather nice things uh, I have to say about the game is that they were not skimpy with the Lupa Lupin's camp has always been there, skill points. hidden deep inside the mountains. Hmm. So, how do we get across there? Oh, ha. Well, that really doesn't look like it, does it? Um, okay, so... He's like my ultimate foe and he does... Ah, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. I see a bridge. Okay, so he does want to be fought. Tread carefully here. This is Looper Lupin's camp. And I almost thought he was like, you know, scared of us. <laughs> well, clearly, he probably isn't, but... No, anyway, what I was saying is they were definitely not skimpy on the um, skill points or the world rather the needs saving make the most of the day getting XP even when you're already uh, quite a couple levels up it still still seems to be fairly easy to uh, get more XP and yet another level up um, I'm at a loss, I'm at a loss. Luck clearly is not necessary anymore, although 57 on crit chance, yeah. That's more like it. Would be interesting to see if we could like make a build that has like 100% crit chance. <laughs> that, that would be that would be pretty sweet actually. Hello, Lupa Lupin, my friend. Hey. Lupa Lupin says he's been looking for you for this moment. He wanted you to come here and see for yourself where it all started. Sure, we are in for a nice video. He was so little when your mother and kin came here to put an end to his mother just because she was different. A hunter. That night, the hunter became the hunted, trapped with nowhere to run. He says your mother showed no mercy, only vengeance. He can see that you're not like your mother. There's something different about you. Maybe you would have made a better decision than she did, and let them be. They orphaned him, left him alone, an outcast and a freak. Lupa Lupin says he's been reliving the moment every night since then. Oh boy, I did not see that coming. He says your mother and her disciples started something that couldn't be undone. They created the monster he would become. He knew his time would come and he was patient, 
So, when he got news about your birth, he knew how to get revenge that would last. That's why he spared you that night he raised the village when you were a child. He wanted you to suffer for life, like he had. Just so. He marked you for life, so he'd recognize you when you met again, and you'd eventually remember where you came from. Oh. His hunger grew insatiable over the years to come. He tried, but being vegetarian wasn't in his nature, and he couldn't go hungry. But he's never taken a life for the sake of appetite. It's always been about survival, and that our true self is being who we are. A deep look into nature will make you understand everything better, and that natural selection eliminates, and the strongest survive. Fate is for those too weak to determine their own destiny. And now, the time has come for you to accept yours. Oh, I... I see, I... And I was entirely sure he would basically just ask us to be nice and make friends and stuff. Which... Ooh. Now he takes out the big club. Oh, ah. Goodbye, Lupa Lupin. Interesting. Interesting. Get your initial upside of weapon. Okay. How would that help me? Okay, we don't know. Can I talk to Lupa Lupa? What was? I'm confused. A lot. Is he just like held to plan and kill him? I'm I'm I have no idea what just happened. Zero. Alright, anyway, uh let's get out of here and quickly return to out of date apparently as they are suggesting and then Quickly make our way to the fourth and last world eater. There 
it is. There it is. Okay, good. So good thing you're not claustrophobic. Let's see what to do with the smart master plan that involves leaving everyone to a rotten world has to say now. Out of date says there'll be consequences of the war, but there are more pressing matters at hand. Yeah, you mawa. The last world eater has been left undisturbed with the tree while you focused on the war. He thought someone with your light perspective and key would have had different priorities and faced the world eaters before resolving the tribe war. Regardless, out of date is grateful the tribe war is over. Out of date understands the road has been rough, but you already know what's left to end this journey, and it'll be tough. You're the only one that's strong enough to face the last world eater. Let's hope so. The future depends on someone with a light perspective to give the world a chance to survive. Only time will tell what the future holds, and if it will bring a lasting peace for those that make it to the end. Out of date reminds you it's time to confront the last world eater. Um, well, thanks for reminding me. It's not like I had forgotten, but sure. That was an incredibly useless exercise to, you know, go back to him now. Um, oh well, okay. So find a pyro stick at the bank plant. Uh, that was not directly travelable, fast travelable, but I can at least get close by chilling with Gil. But we'll not exactly be chilling with Gil, but anyway. Um, all right. Also, uh, so the the guy who's fixing up, up the octopod uh, would almost certainly need us to do easy to things. forget how dangerous this world can be. One of which was already the uh, loop from Choo Choo, and now apparently the pyro sticks. So should be all for him um, fume foam oh that's some strong he meant to strap there serious radioactive zone wouldn't really do anything to us at all we could just put on some nice protective gear. Balvino. Ooh. That's not ah. too bad. Yeah, it's not. There was always something in those. Not that we are gonna much need it anymore, but. Why not? Metalhead! That's cool. And shitty. Alright, there is our target. Dooby dooby doo. And we're still. So in this place we were still missing one superb loot and we've 
already been here apparently and let's see oh I see hey That's it. Probably a plonk and a clink and Wee I like that. Alright, check on blasting this open. That looks like an unbanged pyro stick on the loose. Better catch it before it goes off. That way we also... Ooh, an 11 armor oh, wow, you lucked out there. It's neat. Wait, what's making this sound? Night covers the land. I don't like that sound. That was that and we return to Wiz. all right good um, I think to Wiz we can actually fast travel yes we can nah hello there all right and that should probably conclude our dealings with him now he's gonna be uh, you know telling us that it is nice to see the world not coming to an end and right afterwards he's gonna ask us for a seat on the ark just you wait the pyro sticks will cause a bang but targeting is on you at least now you have a chance to hurt the Merc Puff where it counts. You should aim for the head. That's the Merc Puff's weak spot. Thinking doesn't seem to be his strong point. <laughs> Wiz has been working on another cannon. But instead of pyro sticks, it squirts guppos. Scaly distractions for anyone with an appetite disorder. And irresistible for the Merc Puff in particular. Seems the best way to find guppos is go talk to Gil. He has a natural sonar and knows where the guppos sub the surf. We were just there. Like seriously? This means you'll have to go visit Gil at Verbal Bottom. Guppos are You are f <sighs> Wow. How to draw something out? beyond necessity wow i i uh, wow okay and off to gill i did not see that one coming um i should have uh yeah that's that's like one of the things that i have to say is not great in that game uh, keep it's your just, eyes peeled for movement. It keeps you moving, uh, but not in a good way. Kind of unnecessarily. unnecessarily. Needs guppos for one reason or another, and Gil is ready to push. But here, you're only going to find dead ones. He's pretty sure. I'm just gonna skip this. If you head in the figures, he's always been a friend. Find the Gapo Grotto. Right. Where is that? At Fracking Echoes. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, uh, off to the Gapo Grotto. You shouldn't. Cyphrine? Oh, why not? The last one of those had something nice on them. Come Better back. to be on top of a mount than huh? standing behind it. Did I just see an indicator? I, I did, I did. Ah, just a resource totem. Okay. Well, Isn't while we're used, here, you could use that for sure. I'm actually fairly sure I cannot anymore. Wait, wasn't there just a horsey here? There it is. All right, and off we go. Run like the wind, my friend. Run like the wind. Um. One of those. Ah, uh, seriously? There we go, or there they go, rather. Um, this story needs a hero. They hardly even left anything. Tuh. Now, this is Guppy Grotto. Hello, Guppy Grotto. Six superb loots, uh, three old world gadgets, and a green ATM. And apparently, weird. What are arms? Or is this goo? No, this is just water, I think. Um, there. Okay. Clearly, this is the only way. <sighs> A whole another grotto again. Oh boy. Okay, uh, right.
this one could nah that'll do ah uh, this drains the the pool for lack of a better word okay Okay, sure. <sighs> oh, come on. There we go. Oh, five. We need five. I see. Okay. Um. The scrap keeps piling up. How far does this underplace go on? Ah. Okay. Good. 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 Now. I'm not gonna actually attempt uh, completion if I stumble across everything. Needs a key. By chance. Lock it, lock. Yeah, if we, if we actually stumble across everything by chance, then uh, I'm not gonna complain. Well, what do you know? Ooh, legendary boot. Um. That is nice, that is very nice indeed. But if we don't just stumble across everything, then... Yeah, then that's fine too. Whew, okay, uh... Huh? Ah, damn it. That, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, it's uh, again not gonna work out. Okay, good. Whew. It's been a long night, but it's over soon. Huh? Haven't we just been here? Curved plate. Made from strong stuff. Nice. Indeed. It's not like things are super visible. Um, okay. Uh, X 
exhaust junk, another add-on for wow. Now we get like all the really good stuff and there's the other superb loot, okay cool, so we did actually come across all of them just by chance, uh, that leaves that would leave one of the no actually I will leave two um, old world gadgets and one um, green ATM apparently. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, that's again gonna be not enough moves. Getting boring, getting honestly incredibly boring. And another one, this is also not gonna work, I can tell you right now. Now we're just gonna sit here uh, forever because our intellect is apparently not high enough. Oh boy. And again. This sure is fun. Instead of... I'm confused. Ah. This goes up. Instead of just like needing at half a ton of moves, how about make actually uh, engaging puzzles? Uh, that are tricky not because there we go not because uh, you don't have the required stamina or energy or power or whatever uh, to solve them but because they are actually tricky to solve as a puzzle uh, yeah like a river runs through you. All right, well, anyway, we have our way out. We apparently did not stumble across the green ATM, or did we just miss it, perhaps? Um... I wear a green ATM I would be hiding somewhere up here but you come with me either way I don't think it's gonna matter we head out to Wiz and then hopefully can take out the last world leader right Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna skip through what he's saying. Oh, well, let's, let's first see maybe he has something to actually say. That seems to be enough guppos to provide the octopod with... He's surprised the Merc Puff's been able to hold its breath all A 
turtle. I don't want to kill a turtle. It's just another proof of the evolutionary change caused by Toxanol's contamination. Being underserved has meant the Merc Puff has been left alone to munch on the root down there undisturbed. This means the Northwest Root has suffered more damage than the others. He's realized there's a chance all of you who were gifted with traits beyond the ordinary mammal wouldn't have been so lucky if it wasn't for the contamination's effect on evolution. All right, hello, Octopod. Use normal movement controls while in the Octopod. Loose, press, left stick. To dodge incoming attacks, press B. Okay, I like that. To charge up an attack, hold X. Oh, okay. To launch rockets, press RT. Ooh. Wow. Okay, that is that is cool. Alright, this is single fire action. Um, We're all heroes of our own stories, or so we hope. Alright, wish me luck. Or rather, wish us that we, that we don't need luck. How would that be? Okay, seems the rockets definitely do a lot more damage than uh, I guess you could call it a melee attack. And we are about to hit the one third mark. I hope he doesn't get too overpowered in this next stage. Uh oh. Okay, that does not look like something we want. Left trigger, okay. Okay, what do we do now? Uh, I don't know, was that successful? No, not. Ow! Okay. Ah! Um. Quick heal and actually, why not? That as well.
Yes, I think that was the second stage. Oh boy, let's see if we can take him. Alright. Let's give him something to play with, some gobbles. Okay, I, I, I don't want to jinx it, but I think we can maybe, maybe take him out in one go without getting killed. Oh, I would love that actually. That would be, that would be a pretty sweet ending in a way. All right, come on, give him all you got. Yes, yes. Okay, all the world eaters defeated. Let's see if that is the do all end all. Shu Yens. That was the last of them. You've sealed the fate of the tribe and the tree. It's time for the end game. You have your destiny. Follow it all the way back to out of date. He never told anyone about what's next, but he's sure it involves you. Just continue to stay true to yourself and respect others whatever happens. You've become their pride, the guiding light of the tribe. It's time to return to the tree one last time. And I'm back. <laughs> uh, not really that I left, but sure. Um, anyway, so apparently we have to talk to Out of Date one more time. Um, let's just do that, hopefully, quickly. Anyway, um, the World Eaters are defeated. Uh, we did take out Lupa Lupin as well. I'm gonna take a quick look at the journal. Uh huh. Okay, so the Ark and Wiz are still there apparently. Um, oh, Wiz was right there. He would have, yeah, he would have then asked us for the, you know, sit seat on it on the Ark. Anyway, Be okay. down here. Easy to get trapped. Let's see what our Mr. Know-it-all has to say about things. Okay. Yeah, you mawa. Out of date says the signs of the end of the world are everywhere. It seems nature is preparing to take revenge. To I see. Why? The day of reckoning is coming, and you are invited. He can feel you're approaching the end date. If you haven't decided whom of all like-minded, light-hearted beings you've met have earned a seat on the Ark yet, it's time to do... Then grasp your last chance to make sure Lupa Lupin stopped for good. The tree settled its score, but it left yours half done. He says you need to see Lupa Lupin I He's happy to help. Kim Okay. Uh I see. Well uh it would be kind of dumb to stop just now seeing as basically 
the end is nigh. So let's see it through. Shall we? Can I ride? Yes, we can. All right, where do we need to go now? To loop a loop and first, apparently. The shadows oh. are only getting longer. You're getting longer. Yeah, we are just going to see Lupa Lupin again, apparently. Um, I... The Sifu is seeking revenge too. He hasn't forgotten what Lupa Lupin did, but he also wants to stop him from attacking his tribe. That the world seems to survive doesn't mean he must. He hopes you agree, even if it goes against your light-hearted nature. There's no room for predators in the world the Myriad tribe is building. But he knows this is your fight. You should handle it. Lupa Lupin's own fear was his shackles, not the roots of the tree. It just changed him. Okay, so we get to fight another you boss. Have a chance to stand back and let the tribe handle it. The Sifu is ready to step into the fray. Are the odds about to change in your favor? It is time to say goodbye. Oh, he's gonna kill the cute little Sifu? <gasps> we can finally have if a head. dies, something inside you dies. You can save the Sifu by making yourself a target. You're up. Time to take you out for good. Sure. 
All right. No special text, just shooting. Bye bye, buddy. Shockwaves spread when the world crumbles. This is not a prophecy. Me telling you about the future. It's you shaping it. Here's um. a vulgar display. Stronger he becomes. One down, and we are at another good to go. Oh, wow, where, where is he? Uh huh. That should take care of this second stage, and it does. And I'm not. It's very time much you remember who the real enemy is and stop playing the game his way. Wow. Stop it. Um, um, huh. All right. Sure is a bit stronger now, but I think we can do it. Oh, now, no, 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 stop, stop, stop hitting me. All right, that should take care of it. Yes, that will. All right, good. And he is out. This is how it ends. Predator and the world itself suffering, but at least it's a sign they're both still alive. Huh. All right. So, what we have here is a clear matter of life and death, and only you can make a difference. Well, he was really mean to like everyone, but kind of his like backstory, I, I would I would say it would just be right to let him live. So yeah. You continue to make bad decisions and mistakes. Oh, it never ends. <laughs> it's easy to make a good decision when there's only one option. The only mistake here is you. My mistake is letting you speak. My conviction is that the world would be a better place without your voice. Convincing yourself doesn't win the argument. In the end, we won't remember the words of our enemies, but the silences of our friends. <laughs> there is some the weak wisdom in can't there. forgive. Forgiveness is a strength. It's not all life and death. It's no better time than now to accept a helping hand. Do you 
wonder be right. what turn life might have taken if you'd done things different. A left when you went right, a yes when you said no. You've walked the thin line between survival and disaster and haven't lost your balance yet. It's because of you the Tree of Life and the world has been given a second chance. You carried the light in a world full of dark and made a difference in a place that needed change. You allied with the Myriad tribe and acted on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. However, light and dark does simply represent the polarities of life. One can't exist without the other. This isn't the end. Just being surrounded by nature as it heals itself will rejuvenate us. Nature will teach us how to survive. So, trust your conscience to show you the way, and everything else will follow. Okay, uh, sure. Where is he guiding us? What's up? <laughs> that arc thing again, huh? As foretold. You were destined to split the chains of this world, but you're not alone. The few that shared your perspective and gained your trust will accompany you on your journey. Mm. Is there a world out there that's better suited for those imbalanced in their life nature than this one? Whether or not, we'll leave your story on record, so those who come after will know you followed your light nature and saved the world. So, when all is said and done, it turned out to be an unusual ending after all. Indeed. What could be better than ending the story the right way? Ending it? your way a beginning of something new hmm. and there we go guys that's it we did it unexpectedly uh we did actually play all the way to the end i did not quite see that coming uh i was kind of hoping for it but i wasn't too sure kind of a uh, really really torn now about uh, well basically not inviting others onto the arc earlier uh, but it was kind of weird I wasn't sure because there were like four seats and I was kind of afraid that basically uh, inviting for of the NPCs to the four seats uh, would basically prematurely finish the game in a kind of, if you will, bad way, but that was apparently not the case. Anyway, there were still like a bazillion side quests open and probably even more side quests to be discovered. Oh well. So, next in the pipeline is going to be Nier Replicant. I am very, very pumped about that. As I said earlier, the last game before Biomutant was actually Nier Automata, uh, which was brilliant. Like, honestly, fucking brilliant. Um, I also have some stuff with uh, Horizon. Uh, I'm going to do a whole, like, uh, how-to... How, do, how would we call that? A whole kind of uh, series of how-tos on all the 
on all the hunting grounds uh, and kind of like a, a real in-depth how to as in like uh, what weapons are equipped and uh, what kind of um, add-ons are equipped on those weapons and so on and so on um, yeah other than that This, uh, this game really, I'm leaving it with mixed feelings. It was not bad per se. It was not great either, sadly. Uh, but it was kind of fun, that's for sure. So, yeah. No bad feelings. That's, that's for sure as well. All right, guys. Um, please leave some feedback in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to this here channel, Unwind and Replay. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye bye.